Tired of job site change orders? Well, there is a solution called augmented reality, otherwise known as the digital building twin. In this episode, we're gonna show you how it works. Design, augmented reality, Russ, that's where we're standing now. Yep. This is the place where, one, you build some mock-ups here, but at the same time, it's what you can't see that's really impressive at the moment. Yes, that's we're, true. Tell us about this station. So here we built the mock-up. We've got the steel structure behind us. We've also had our designers, Chris Bruning, um, jumped in, did all the MEP, plumbing, electrical coordination, even threw a toilet in there. But it's only able to be seen through AR with the HoloLens on. You can see all the plumbing, all the MEP fixtures. It's all in the hollow lens. You can only see it when you turn it on. Can I try this? Absolutely. All right, the hollow lens. And now we, we have one of the lead guys behind the scenes over here is gonna yep. walk me through. So the first thing he said is, what's great about this, it's voice activated. Yep. So I can say, start record. All right, now walk me through what my next steps are here. So you're gonna wanna launch the model. Yep. Palm. Go to your palm. palm. So there's a button in my palm. Yep. I click it. Now you can drop your palm. 25 then, markers. Yep. Right? No way. So there it is. There's the mini scale of it. You can move that around, play with it. You're going to want to grab it and pull it away from you. So reach out and pinch it. Yeah, grab it and moving. pull it down. Pull it towards you. Pull it or move it wherever you want. But if you move it out of your line of vision, then you can scan the QR codes and it'll populate. So look at this. So that that's this structure in front of me. Uh, and I'm seeing the Emmy. In fact, that's the right side of it. I believe. Yep. And I'm seeing all the MEPs, all the plump. Whoop, you go too fast. <laughs> but I can literally walk right into this and see how everything comes together. That is correct. I'm telling you, I'm Tony Stark. My kids are gonna love it. They love Avengers. <laughs> this is how they whoop, this is how they did it in the movie. All right, so that does that, but you can do more than that. You can grab the corners and make it larger or smaller. Yep. Right? You can scale it to size. I I get it up high. Oh, you can scale it to size. Yep, you can scale it however you want to. Move it, bend it, yep. Now I can grab a corner. That's so cool. <laughs> can you see me touching that on the screen? Yes. Wow, there it is. All right, so this is really cool. So this is one aspect of it, and this is just a floating hologram. Correct. That we're looking at. Yep. But if I take this now and I put it, um, let me get it out of the way over here. I can come over, there's QR codes on the floor here. Now, I can lock in, do I have to end the hologram first? Nope. Oh, there it is. So, so that one's good. That one's good. Oh, check that out. So now I'm actually at the structure. I'm touching it and I can see where my pipes are coming through an actual structure. There's a toilet in the back back there that I can see. And if I walked around closer, I'd be able to see all of that. You can see where it runs in the floor joist, right? And then over here, Check that out. So let me get this straight. This is just the structure itself. And then over here is a hologram of the next section of the building. So as somebody's building this on site, they can virtually see the next phase of it and how it all comes together. And that if is, there's any conflicts, there's the stairs. That is correct. Yep. Look at that. Perfect, perfect. Does it cook dinner? <laughs> no, it doesn't, not yet. Doesn't? Chris is working on it. Chris is working on it. So Chris, this is your creation, huh? All right, so now I can see the MEP, so the mechanicals. When I look up high, I got all the mechanicals up high. Um, and I'm, I'm imagining if I walk into the structure, I can see even more. Yep. Once inside. Yep, I see recessed lights or something going down. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so stop recording. That's amazing stuff. Yes, it is. All right, and, and I think this is what's going to change our industry in a big way. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Not just in being able to build it quicker, cleaner, at a higher quality, but also quality control. Having somebody be able to put that on, walk through a unit and make sure that everything's in its spot where it's supposed to be. And think about that from a stakeholder standpoint, the end user that's getting to come in here and see their project, because to them, you're Toby, there's a bunch of metal, you know, steel studs and right. floor joists and everything floating around. But this actually brings everything to life, not only for the stakeholder, but for all the mechanical contractors, the plumbers, the electricians, because now they can do conflict resolution before it even happens in the field where it really right. costs money. You don't have plumbers or mechanical guys cutting down load bearing studs, yeah. which happens all the time. You don't have any of that. It's all coordinated. It's there. They know exactly where they need to be, exactly where their runs go. Right. 
All right, so this is just one of the structures that you build on site. Yep. You also have mock-ups that you do where you build the walls, the windows. So when people come here, they can actually take a look at that. And those are sitting over here and we're gonna hand to that so you can see. But tell me what the value of the mock-ups are. So we do those mock-ups for a number of reasons, to test fasteners, to give the client a full look at what he's getting at the end of the day when the project arrives. We can go over connection details, wall manipulations, um, hold off spacing for wall joints, how different pieces, you know, whether they're using cement board or how our SRT is gonna react with trusses, how he wants the window framing to go, how, what kind of rough openings he needs. Anything that the developer wants, anything that the operator wants, we can go through, build it all, and let them put their hands on it and touch it. Let's see, I think that's amazing. Between doing that, I mean, just the sales process so people can really see what they're gonna get is a huge value that you yep. don't get anywhere else. This augmented reality is a huge value because this is a small scale, but this can be done throughout an entire building. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Right, right, and it's just a matter of bringing the data point in. Yep. All right, so like I said, I'm sold, Russ. <laughs> now we're gonna go down and we're gonna start printing some of this stuff out in the Howix. Yep, yeah, let's go check. And that's what's gonna make that. Yes, it is. I love it, so let's go. Appreciate it, I'll follow you. And I'll give your VR helmet back here. Thank you so much. <laughs>